Lights of the Sky. This is Gunter Severlo. We are on my Steam Workshop page for the mission Knights of the Sky. This is a version 1.2 of a massive update. There are quite a few new features in the mission and some new requirements. Alright, let's go to the Arma 3 launcher. This is what I have loaded up for the mission for the required mods. Now just to let you know that the IFA-3 AIO is a required mod for all the tanks and vehicles and other assets that are in the mission already. If you have these other mods loaded then you'll see these planes in the mission. If you don't then you'll just be left with uh, IFA-3 planes. Alright we're gonna load up the the mission itself and I'm gonna show you what I kinda did in the editor and then we're gonna get in game I'm gonna show you something in the MP lobby that will be important and uh, let's go check it out. Alright guys we are now in the editor and I'm gonna kinda show you some of the new aspects of this uh, massive update. Alright let's begin with the number of roles that we can choose now initially this was set to uh, four roles and it was just a German role. Now we have a total of eight roles. So we have the Germans, two roles for the German, with one role being access to Zeus. Then we have another role for the Soviets, another role for the access of Zeus, US pilots, and one, ac one role to access to Zeus. British pilots role, now I actually had to create these characters because there are no British pilots in IFA-3, so I hope you like them. Four signs. We have four signs plus one in the back. And there are markers on the ground for each sign. So here you have a sign for this marker, a sign for this marker, a sign with this marker, and a sign with this that marker. So each, each sign that you go to and you spawn a plane, the planes spawn on their corresponding markers. Of course, same here. The medical tent is the same. This is the uh, recruit AI sign. You're only going to be able to recruit a pilot. And over here is I removed the vehicles and I added some of the new icons here for the taxi rearm repair refuel trigger. And here is the trigger the instant repair refuel and rearm trigger what I did here is I expanded it so I made it a lot bigger so it should be a lot easier to fly through if we go to the map as you can see you see all these little modules and stuff and each one of these modules is a vehicle respawn module yeah they're all over the place so what I did in this update is aside what I just showed you which you could also see on the map I added some new convoys I added tank emplacements uh, more convoys all over the place so we have convoys of vehicles we have convoys of tanks we had some new convoys here new AT guns convoys uh, in other areas tank emplacements, AT guns, AT guns, tank emplacements, and I have a new German tank field. So we have two Soviet tank fields and then we have a German tank field. So basically uh, when you destroy one of these tanks they'll uh, respawn in 300 seconds which is five minutes. And then we have their convoy over here which is all vehicles and then we have another convoy over here which is tanks starts with the uh, the weaker armor up to the heaviest so you have a half track panzer 4 panzer 4 panther up to a tiger new AT guns this, this, this time it's pack 40s Have some more. Um, we got some AT guns, AT gun, and then we have a place tank convoy over here, German convoy, and then there is some 
Even place tank here, place tank here, a new German tank convoy, kind of like the other one. A convoy over here, and then I have a T gun. convoy in the trees here let's get into the mission I'm going to show you the MP lobby and show you what's on these signs and go a little bit further into them all right so what we're going to do is to play this we're going to play this in uh, multiplayer MP LAN we are in the MP lobby and as you can see we're currently on the blue four so the blue four has two roles the one role is will give you Zeus access, the other role is just the pilot. And then you have the Soviets, which is OP4, and then you have Zeus access for the one role, a normal role for the other. And then on the independent role, we have four roles. Now we have the US pilot, which has Zeus access, and then we have a normal US pilot. And then this one here is a British pilot which gives you Zeus access, and then you have a normal role for the uh, British pilot. Knights of the Sky. So here we have the four signs, and then we have a sign in the back. So if you walk up to these signs, each sign has a green lettering. So this one will spawn secret weapons planes, and if you just click that, I remove the hint that usually pops up on the top right, so it's less annoying. So these are all your secret weapons planes, and uh, you can spawn them here. Just like that. So these secret weapons planes will spawn over there. And then here we have spawn secret weapons reloaded planes. I'm going to spawn the IL-2. And just a note on the just a note on the uh, secret weapons planes. On this list, I removed all the flying legends planes and put them on their own sign. All right, here we have now is the all the IFA three planes except for the transport planes. Here we'll spawn the uh, Air Cobra. And here is the sign that will spawn all the Flying Legends planes. And that's how that works. So if we go to this sign in the back, this sign will spawn all the planes for the Messerschmitt BF-109 planes. On this list, each version of BF-109, it'll say BF-109A, B, C, E, K, etc. There were actually 21 variants of the same of each one of these of A, B, C, etc. And what I did is I ended up using putting the class names of two of I thought the best variants or skins of those planes. So we're just gonna spawn the first one because most of those planes are all the same. All right, guys. I hope you guys find this uh, mission useful, fun entertaining. Just want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.